So if you have grasped and X and exacted these points and fundamental principles, you will be by the permission of Allah fortified from and a proof against many she will have. You will be a proof against doubtful matters, unclear proofs you justify falsehood that have stormed through the east and west of the Islamic world. When many of those who have repented are negligent in this domain and do not turn in the beginning of their repentance to learning the fundamental principles of Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'ah and the methodology, they become confused, deranged, and call it to the worst you will have, doubtful matters. We ask Allah to, for salvation and protection. So he said, he said even with the Toba, you need what? You need to turn to the principles then. You can't just say, okay, what, what, what do we say? Anna? Salafi. You can't just do that. If you do, then what happens? You can bring the thing from the past because we didn't rec uh, some of us didn't recognize it in the beginning as a falsehood. So what, makes, what means we're going to recognize it now as a falsehood? Why we recognize it? Like speaking out of turn about what the law's book means. Speaking without knowledge about what the law's book means. Speaking without knowledge about what the Sunnah means. Just say anything. Well, the law says, uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that actually? What does that mean? And we have the youth who went to Quran schools. Who only learn how to recite the Quran. We have that. We have youth who went to Quran schools. The only thing they can do is recite the Quran. So what they do, I can speak some of, some of this from, 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 uh, Experience, especially those who have been arrested, they come to prison and they take over leadership. You know how they do it? They recite the Quran. <laughs> no, seriously, they recite the Quran. They sit and they recite it. They go, Bismillah and they can recite long verses. So the brothers are like, wow, he can recite. Eat the man. <laughs> gotta give it to him. Gotta give his propers. He just came from the street committing a heinous crime that's not allowed in anybody's society. And now he comes in the, and, and he's got time out of his sight. And he's the man, mashallah. He brings the, he brings the hudud. He brings, he brings everything. He's whipping him up in the corner. <laughs> I, I'm not playing. This is true. I, I, this is all true. He's whipping him up in the corner. And, he, and, he's, and he's given fire khutub. He's gone. And nobody can stand in his way. This is somebody else who's, who's more, who more call, you know, has a little more, uh, what do you call it? He's slyer than he is. And he, can, he can accuse him of something. And bump him off. He can take over. MashaAllah. This you find. Why? Because of the arrangement of what happened in the street. And people go to the prisons and now there's nothing to do now. So what they do is they, they, uh, hmm? they bring their... Bring the shubu hat. Walaikum salam to Allah. The shaykh goes on. I'm, I'm not translating right now. So, um, whoever reflects upon their, mean what those mentioned above, the condition, will be able to find many cases and examples of this disarray and confusion from them. The first example, you find the one who has made repentance very eager in the beginning, to distance himself from the people of Bid'a, innovation and division. Now, right? Right? I'm Salafi, I don't want nothing to do with Ahlul Bid'a, he says. He remains upon this for a period of time. Then when he hears a shubha, a doubtful matter, unclear proof, he suggested that falsehood, from someone who is dubious and puts on a cloak of Salafi, while the reality is that he is a deviant, we find his end result being that distancing himself from the people that build down, not sitting with them, nor mixing with them, is not correct. And that he relinquishes and does away with many benefits. And that there is no one who is infallible after the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the companions made mistakes. So what do you say happens here? He doesn't know about not sitting with them. He doesn't know about staying away from them. He never studied it. So what does he do? He's all right. And he's staying away until he meets somebody who's got a real nice coat on. He's wearing the coat of Salafia. But he's got doubts with him. And he plays a game on him. And he comes back saying, uh, you can't not sit with them. That's not, I'm not going to do that. 
and some of us have witnessed just that, we witnessed it from a character in the town we live in. He came, he claimed, he aimed, he spent, he talked, he preached, and after one plane ride he came right back, and we've never seen him since. Mm -hmm. We saw it. We saw it happen to him. But he never studied. He was quick to jump from what? The toba to the talking. He was quick to jump from the toba, and we don't know if he ever made it or not, but he said he did, so we have to take him at his word. He wanted to jump from making toba straight to what? The head of the class. I want to be the foremost and give it a down one. You've seen the kind of people, they can hit that download button, they download a bunch of things from some of these publications in Troy, and they got a handful and a bag full every time you see them, or they got a mouthful, and, and then next month you, you don't see them at all. So this is not, because download is not study. Study is study. Study, learning is by study. It's not by sitting out listening to some keywords. Okay. Salafi. Minhaj. Ulama. Kutub. Aqiqa. Shubha. You get a, you know, you get a, a repertoire. Sheikh. You get a repertoire. You get, you get, a, you, know, you get your library of when you meet Salafis, what you should say. You get the buzzword, the tourist, you know, the 595 tourist guide of how this how they exist in the Salafi Masjid. For, it's a lot of times only. <laughs> you get the, you get the, you get the, you know, how to do it. Isbal, Lihya, Tawheed, Uluhiyya, Rububiyya, Asma wa Sifat. They all become part of the Lingo. Compared to lingo. Until we meet someone who is very clever. Like who? Like, like Ma'rabi. Like him. And who goes out the door behind him. So we meet people like them. And then the fitna begins, mashallah. And we see, mashallah, who is grounded. Allah knows best who is not. Like Bilal Phillips. Like Bilal. Hmm? And we see who is grounded and who is not. Who is going to get mad if he gets called out. He got called out, not in public at first, Allah knows best, but then it became public, and everybody got mad. <laughs> Talking about Bilal. They gonna even start reading Bilal's books. No, yeah, until it happens, then it's like, what is this about? Then we, then we get shown the mistakes, then it becomes a test for us. Are we going to abide by the words of the ulama, or are we just gonna behind the back say, they don't know what he's talking about, or the Bilal and Daddy. They don't, know, they, don't know, they don't know our special condition. <laughs> huh? They don't know our current Yeah, this special condition known as being, uh, as, as living here. Our special condition. You know how special we are? <laughs> That's what got us into trouble in the first place. We weren't part of the Ummah. We were never, not, I'm not saying you all, but our, when we came in, it's like we weren't part of the Ummah. We had a special condition that allowed us to do anything we wanted to do. We had to make our own rules. We had to organize our masters our own way. And we, had, we started bringing that old funny nation down in about everybody abandoning us. We didn't have nobody. Now what's the excuse now? We have telelinks, alhamdulillah. We have a telephone numbers. The brothers who can translate with the early man say, what's the excuse now? The excuses are getting cut. There's no excuse. Except as the Sheikh said, we haven't done what? Some of us haven't cleaned. We didn't know. I had to be cleaning. It must, there must be a tasbiyah. There has to be a process that takes place. I have to go through the process. You have to go through it. Our homes have to go through it. Our wives have to go through it. Our children have to go through it. Everything has to go through it, mashallah. It's a tasbiyah process. He has only reached a state of confusion due to lack of learning the book and the sunnah upon the understanding of the salaf, of this ummah. And due to his lack of studying the fundamental principles of Ahl sunnah wa jamaah, if he would have turned to these fundamental principles, he would have known that the shubha, the shubha, doubtful matter, unclear proof used to justify falsehood, is false and is in opposition to the stance of Ahl sunnah wa jamaah with the people of desires. 
and bid'ah, innovation, of ancient and modern times, he also would have known that the statement of the dubious one who cloaks himself with Salafiyya, saying that no one is infallible after the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that everyone makes mistakes is a true statement, but he desires with it, meaning the true statement, falsehood. هُوَ حَقُّ بِمَعْنَ كَذِبْ حَقُّ بِمَعْنَ بَعْتِنْ أَوْ حَقُّ يُرِيدُ بِهِ بَعْتِنْ this is, a, this is a true statement, but falsehood is not by it. The stance of Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'ah regarding the companions and those who follow them in righteousness, when any of them makes an error, is that the error was not based on desires, or due to his lack of following the narrations, or due to his distorting the text, or due to his following the unclear proofs from the text, as is the case with the people of Bid'ah. Rather, it is due to him not knowing the proof, or due to him holding that the opinion is not the correct opinion, or other than that from which they, were, they, were, they are excused. Regarding them and those that follow them in righteousness, the statement of the Prophet ﷺ was indeed descended. When a judge passes judgment, if he makes his effort ishtihad and rules correctly, he will have two rewards. If he makes his effort ishtihad and rules wrongly, he will have one reward. And Shaykh Fawzi said, when Ahl al-Bidah do this, they get no reward. If the unit is right, he's got to have Philadelphia. Well, yeah, and he's a sinner also. And he's a sinner. Even if he's right, he's a sinner. He's not based upon the principles. This is in opposition to the people of Bidah and division. They don't give significance to the narrations and they give precedence to their logic and intellect over the text of the book and the sunnah. They even make principles that are contrary to the principles of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. So there's no excuse for them as a dubious one who puts on the cloak of Salafiya tries to excuse them. And no one puts them in the ranks of Ahlul Sunnah Jama'ah except for one who is ignorant of an arrogant deviant. In other words, they, the, the mistakes the companions made were not based upon what? Their desires. Not based upon false narrations. It was based upon that. The second example, you find that the one who has repented in the beginning, enthusiastic about criticizing the people of Bidah, but his criticism is not precise, nor is it based upon knowledge. He's critical, but not knowledgeable. He continues upon this for a period of time until he hears a shubha, a doubtful matter, unclear proof, used to justify falsehood, from someone who is claiming Salafiyah, that criticizing the people of Bidah is not from the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah with Jama'ah, and that it hardens, what? The heart. And that so-and-so used to criticize certain groups and suffered a relapse of illness due to that. Then after these shubha reach his heart, you see him turning back on his heels, rejecting the great foundation that the religion is established upon. You might even find him after that calling the people to leaving the great principle, claiming that it hard is the hearts. The character that I'm talking about that took place in Baltimore, he, he made this claim exactly. This was his claim. It's hard is the heart if you do this. The reality is that this is a major fundamental principle that the religion is established upon. It is very weighty and strong and a strong means of preserving and safeguarding the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah with Jama'ah from being distorted. It is a great means of worship and a great means of attaining closeness to Allah. It increases the Muslim in Iman, faith, strength and belief. And so long as its conditions are upheld, such as ikhlas, sincerity, and other than it, it is just like any other worship that increases Iman, faith, strength and belief. So the defect is not in the principle, but rather is due to the principle not being applied with precision. Because of that, when the heart agrees with and accepts the shubha, doubtful matter, unclear proof used to justify falsehood, he rejects the principle instead of putting the fault on himself or not applying the principle correctly. He does what? He rejects the principle instead of finding the fault inside himself, he rejects it. With respect to this, we don't see the imams leaders of guidance from among the companions, the tabi'een, the second generation that came directly after the companions, and those that followed them in righteousness except upon Zul, abstaining from everything which does not benefit in the hereafter, and focusing the heart on that which is with Allah. Taqwa, complying with the orders of Allah and abstaining from that which is prohibited. Khashya, a more specific type of fear of Allah, which is based upon knowledge, 
and serenity of the heart, even though they would often criticize and speak out against people in groups. So this is Abdullah ibn Mubarak, rahimahullah. This is Ahmed ibn Hanbal. This is Yahya ibn Ma'in. 